frugal, nimble, and a great laugh with a place to keep the shopping under the seat. These are the best 125cc scooters that you need to know about for 2024. Chinese manufacturer Lexmoto has been zipping around the UK streets for quite some time now, and they offer a vast variety of affordable scooters, plus a few more recent premium priced additions. Whilst options like the Titan 125 and Aura 125 are popular models you'll often see out and about, we've gone for the Diablo 125. Despite it being around since 2015, it has proved a seriously popular choice for scooter riders in the UK to find their feet or just cruise around town with a bit of style at an affordable price of £2,180 new with a standard two-year parts and labour warranty which may ease the worries of some riders. If the Diablo doesn't suit, you can always opt for the other models. The Nexus 125 looks good too with 14.1 brake horsepower, but this Diablo finds its way onto our list as a popular and affordable option. And whether you go for a brand new model or one a few years old, you'll be sure to know there are plenty out there to choose from. They also offer a 50cc option too. So quick spec, the price is £2,180, power is 8.6 brake horsepower, tank size is 6 litres, seat height is 790mm, storage space is large and the weight is 114 kilograms. Next up at 9 with the Suzuki Avenis 125 with sharp lines and a sporty design that if you kind of squint you see a bit of the Jixxer influence, the upswept tail does bits. It's certainly a scooter that will appeal to the fun loving crowd. With 8.5 brake horsepower on tap and a weight of 107 kilograms, Brett reviewed the Avenis on the launch and found the performance quite surprising. Despite the sporty style, it's meant to be a frugal and efficient scooter with the Suzuki Eco Performance motor and at £2,799 it's a pretty fair trade-off. We've ridden all three of these scooters that share the same motor here at Bike Matters. Alex was on the Bergman launch and you could arguably pick between any of them depending on what style you're after. Check Brett's review if the Avenis has poked your ears up. Quick spec, price is £2,799, the power is 8.5 brake horsepower, the tank size is 5.2 litres, the seat height is 780ml, storage space is 21.5 litres and the weight is 107 kilograms. At number 8 with the new Sim ADX125, it is a big scoot with a fairly lofty 150 kilograms weight, but it has a big 15 litre tank, 12 ponies and 11.5 newton meters of torque coming from the single cylinder. Sim has equipped the ADX with keyless ignition, LED lighting all round, ABS and traction control, plus a 5 inch TFT dash. It's a good prospect for the £3,999 price tag, and given the adventure characteristics with dual purpose wheels, gated forks and a monoshock rear, it should scratch the dusty trail itch if you really fancy it, though I wouldn't really recommend a full day of off-roading on any scooter. Maybe the XADV. We saw this up close and live at Motorcycle Live. Up, up close and live? We saw this up close at Motorcycle Live and it certainly has the curb appeal. I'd even say that it looks bigger than your average 125cc scoot. I suppose that is a lot to do with being the weightiest scooter on the list with the biggest fuel tank. Good for long days riding without stopping to fill up though. Quick spec, the price is £3,999, the power is 12 brake horsepower, tank size is 15 litres, the seat height is 810mm, storage space is 22 litres and the weight is 150 kilograms. Now when the time comes and you need insurance for your motorcycle or scooter, make sure to get a quote directly with Lexum by clicking on the link in the top right hand corner. With over 22 years of experience providing scooter and motorcycle insurance, there are several exclusive schemes only found at Lexham. You could well find the right insurance policy for you. You can get quite ready for when you pick up your new 2024 scooter or give them a try when your insurance renewal comes up. Back on with the show. At number seven, we have the Vespa Primavera. There's a few variations of the Primavera available, and the Italian scooter with buckets of heritage can now also be purchased in an electrica format, if you're after that. But sticking to the base model and up, there's a few new items for 2024. It gets the latest iGet engine, which stands for Italian Green Engine Technology, and produces 10.7 brake horsepower. Weighing 115 kilograms, it has an eight liter tank, though only a 16.6 liter underseat storage, so it's unlikely you'd fit a full face lid under there. My gripe with the Primavera is that it's an exclusive scooter based on style alone. It's the priciest scooter on the list. And though Vespa is famed for producing some top-notch scooters that handle very nicely, £4,150 is just the starting point for the 125cc range. Go for the tech with the TFT screen and keyless ignition, you'll be spending much more. Quick spec, the price is £4,150, power is 10.7 brake horsepower, tank size is 8 litres, seat height is 790mm, storage space is 16.6 litres and the weight is 115 kilograms. In at 6 we have the Honda SH125i and in particular I point at the new 2024 Vetro edition which celebrates Honda Italy's factory workers in Atessa, Italy with semi-transparent green panels. This scoot is priced up at £3,999 and the SH family has sold over 49,000 units in Europe in 2022, 20,000 of those being the 125cc model. 
testament to the fact it's a solid scooter. Running on 16-inch wheels, a brand new SH is with a top box and 28 litres of storage that they say will fit a new helmet. The ESP Plus motor producing a decent 12.8 brake horsepower with HSTC and it weighs 136.5 kilograms. It may have a styling that some don't quite enjoy. Personally, I think it's a serious option for a commuter or a runaround next year 2024 5-lane SP, particularly in the Vetro Green. Worth a look for £3,999. So the price is £3,999, power is 12.8 brake horsepower, tank size is 7 litres, height is 799 millimetres, storage base is 28 litres and the weight is 136.5 kilograms. In at 5 we have the Piaggio Medley 125. Big wheels, big style and a big shock as Brett decided to put this at number 1 for the 125cc list last year. I'm not saying he's wrong, after all it does pack 14.8 brake horsepower, has a huge 36 litres of understeat storage space, but... I'm putting it in the middle of the pack this time around. It has ABS, ASR, a USB socket, a simplistic LCD display, dashing Italian style, and overall is actually quite the package. You can also opt for the S model with Piaggio smartphone integration and a sleek matte black finish as standard. The medley will cost upwards of £3,500 and is a popular scooter. Have I made a wrong pick here? Should it keep the number one slot from last year? Is Brett correct? Let me know in the comments. Quick spec here, the price is £3,500, the power is 14.8 brake horsepower, tank size is 7 litres, seat height is 799mm, storage space is 36 litres and the weight is 132 kilograms. In fourth place we have the Aprilia SRGT125. If you're after a sporty scooter, the Aprilia SRGT could well be the pinnacle of what you can ride on a CBT or A1 license. The SRGT also comes with the iGet motor with start-stop tech, longer travel suspension that should allow you to traverse any terrain, whether that's adventuring down pothole ridden streets or cruising on the back roads and it is fitted with all purpose tires to help get you there. Other spec includes a weight of 144 kilograms, LED lighting all around, a good amount of protection from the windshield and surrounds and even a wavy front disc brake. There's even an SRGT replica that bases itself on the Aprilia Moto GP team. Brett reviewed this one for Bike Matters, have a watch of his review, it is a cracking one. Quick spec, the price is £3,800, the power is 14.75 brake horsepower, tank size is 9 litres, seat height is again 799 mils, that keeps coming up, 25 litre storage space and a wet weight of 144 kilograms. Top three, and in third we have the Yamaha NMAX 125. Chances are you won't be surprised to see the Super NMAX 125 here on the podium, and realistically you could easily argue it deserves first place. Eternally fighting with the PCX from Honda for top spot in the scooter sales charts, there's a reason why so many scooterists pick the NMAX 125 with its top spec offerings, traction control, VVA, and all-round superb road-going ability. It's all packaged up weighing 131 kilograms with a £3,777 price tag, and once again, Brett has had a spin on one of these for bike batters. Alex rode it too, and even as a taller rider at 6'3", he fit on it nicely and had a great time. Well worth the consideration if it wasn't already on your ones-to-watch list. Quick spec, price is £3,777, it's got 12 brake horsepower, the tank size is 7.1 litres, seat height 7 765 millimeters it's got 23 liters storage space and the weight is 131 kilograms a new entry from yamaha finds its way into second place on our 125cc list and it could be a seriously interesting prospect that ticks the frugality and functionality boxes with certainty though the blue core motor isn't the most powerful on this list in fact it's the lowest power here the price tag makes it a very interesting proposition at just 2300 pounds tipping the scales at merely 99 kilograms the lightest on this list it is a very light scooter and given the start stop technology and frugal purchase price running this should be nice and light on the wallet this could be a very tempting option for those looking for a budget scooter from a japanese brand and would expect this to sell in some serious numbers we've covered a whole things to know video on this scooter so if you want to give that a watch click up there Quick spec on this one, the price is £2,300, it's got 8 brake horsepower, the tank size is 5.2 litres, seat is 785mm, it's got 21 litres of storage space and the weight is 99 kilograms. 99 kilos, that's crazy. If anyone asks me what scooter to recommend for a daily runner at 125cc level, my mind instantly goes to the Honda PCX 125, so here it is. It's Bike Matters ultimate 125cc scooter for 2024, at least in our opinion. Powered by a new ESP Plus motor with 12 brake horsepower, it comes with an idling stop tech and HSTC, a smart key with auto locking as you wander off into the shop, full LED lighting, a USB-C connector under the seat, which is within a cavernous 30.4 litre storage space. There's a widescreen central console with LCD screen which displays all of your info and has a redesigned frame and rear suspension, to ensure the ride is always true. Now, why is it at number one? Simply because we think it does it all seriously well. 
It doesn't quite excel in one area, but it's a Honda. It's built well, priced well, and just simply does the job well. In 2024, you can pick from blue, gray, white, and black. So the quick spec on this one, it's 3,649 pounds. It's got 12 brake horsepower, tank size of 8.1 liters, seat height of 754 millimeters, storage space of 30.4 liters, and it weighs in at 130 kilograms. That's our best 125cc scooters to pick from in 2024. It was a difficult one to pick through as there's just simply so much to choose from, but these are the genuine big hitters that I think are worth a look if you're in the market. I'll leave you with a question. What makes the perfect scooter? Let me know in the comments. Cheers for watching. Like and subscribe if you fancy it, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.